be taking a review on Johnny Blamer. This time it's a blue factory custom I got off of eBay from Diecast Dungeon. So, Diecast Dungeon has an eBay page. Link in the description below because he makes lots. He sells a bunch of amazing cars just like Get Me Collectibles. And you should check out his page. And not only that, he does sell some awesome customs like the Carbon Cyber Pity, which I just ordered recently for $40. But I believe it comes with the toolbox, but I'll let you know when I post it on my community tab. So like I mentioned on my Tommy Highbanks review, I said I was going to review the Johnny Flame of Factory Custom Blue variant, but here it is. So there's some screenshots where Johnny Blamer appeared. He is the Cars 1 four-wheel drive racer that appeared in the Dynaco 400. And, yeah, and he did win the top 12. And he did make it up to the top 12 at the end of the race. Along with Aiken Axler, Murray Clutchburn, Billy Oil Changer, Floyd Movie Hill, and Krusty Rodor, for example. So, without further ado, let's review the blue Johnny Blamer. So, here he is. He looks relaxed. He looks pretty annoyed. And. What's missing is that the gaskets, gas print logos aren't there. Those are just headlights. So he does have the blue rims, just like line shields, similar. Four wheel drive, dirt decals for urban suits, just like off road. I really love his off road, and he's one of my all time favorite piston cup racers. Four wheel drive. Headlight. I really love his nature design. It looks outstanding. Reminds me of Colorado. Looks amazing. And I'm also grateful that I have the 2023 one package, which I was able to get. And it's nice that he packed one because. He didn't get much, he didn't get a lot of attention in 2017 and 2010. He was released in 2010 as a rubber tire. But it was great to see him again last year. For, let's compare him to the original Johnny Blamer. This is actually the rubber tire one. So the rim colors are very different. The original one has gray rims, while the factory custom one has blue rims. The back is the same. And the green, there's no rooftop green. And the rooftop is now blue. And window bars are also different. Let's get out the Thailand one and the Disney Store one. And my cr Crash Damage one and my 2017 Johnny Blamer. Which Johnny Blamer variation is your favorite? Disney Store? Thailand? The original one with rubber tires, a 2017 one with a little dark Kelly green, crash damage Johnny Blamer, or the factory custom. I'll have to go with the 2017 one because of the Kelly green. Kelly green is my all time favorite color, but what is yours? Johnny Blamer Madhouse it is. 
So like we did on my Tommy High Banks review, here are the four-wheel drive racers comparison. I cannot believe this is another four-wheel drive review on my channel. Cortland is a different number. And all of the four-wheel drive racers have gray and black rims. So, we already asked which four-wheel drive race is your favorite. Like I said, it's Johnny Blamer, Cortland, or Tommy Highbanks. Let's get a Rhyme Shield because they have, they have the same model and they're blue. But Ryan's model is so inaccurate. Like, in the movie, he has the Rusty Cornfield model. Or the Aiken Axler model. But in the die-cast form, he's the RPM model. The Johnny Blamer model. So we haven't got a re-release of the original Ryan Shields and Eugene Cubby Rescue. But... We also, we're also getting Ernie Gearson for next year, which we haven't seen Ernie Gearson in so long, so it's nice to see him again for 11 years. And down uh, to it for this review on this Johnny Blamer variation as a Blue Factory Custom. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time, and goodbye.